hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter, or as some of y'all like to refer to me, the hauler, which is true. Um, in my channel about me description, it says it's a haul channel. Just putting that out there. Um, anywho, uh, this is a order from Tonic. Um, it took a little bit to get here, but I'm happy it's here. And, um... So that's what y'all are here to see. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spout. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Yes, um, I did some deep cleaning this weekend, like, you know, going through all the drawers in the kitchen. Uh, I was going through all kinds of stuff. My son's getting ready to move. And so I'm like trying to purge stuff. So I'm like pulling stuff out. And then if he wants to take it, he'll take it. If not, I'm going to take it to the Goodwill. But anyway, I ripped a couple nails off. So I decided to chop them all down. So I have little sausage fingers in this video. As y'all hear, Karma is talking. So she, uh, she's probably going to hop up here. Come on. Come here. You can do it. Silly girl. Come on. She's mad because I put the box for this down. <laughs> she doesn't like to jump over things. She wants to walk around it. Come on. Jump. All right. All right. She wants up. We're gonna we're gonna get her up here. Are you gonna be my little Vanna White? Mm hmm. Come on. Y'all know how she is. Anywho. Oh, there she is. She's purring. Okay, so I placed this order on the 14th. So basically, it took 10 days to get here. 11 days to get here, which I'm not going to complain about. Um, and I think when I ordered this, they were doing, like, all the orders were getting a tote bag. So, here we go. Crafting. The art of looking for something you had two seconds ago. Well, isn't that the truth? I thought this was going to be that other one that has the logo on it. So, when my husband sees that, he's going to laugh. Anyway, so, that was a freebie. Then, the main reason I placed the order was for this, y'all. This is the, um... The Wishing Well and Birdcage Bundle. And, come on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So why it came with some lightweight board, I don't know. But um, I do keep this stuff because I use it for projects. Like, um, if I'm doing a small mini album... Um, instead of getting out my big heavyweight chipboard, I can use this. And by the time you do the layering with your, you know, your pattern paper and everything else on top, it's actually pretty stiff. So I hold on to those. Anywho, this is the Enchanted Wishing Well die set. And I thought it was so absolutely adorable that there is actually, look, there's even a bucket for the well. There are 43 dies, and it looks like we get two patterns. You get a lattice work, and you get one that looks like stone. And I'm not quite sure. So here they're showing it's just like using as a box, and here they have it as the wishing well. Uh, the largest die is 6x3, so this is going to fit through your standard die cutting machines. Hmm. I would almost think like make one of these bigger to sit on top of that, but then you can't... Well, I guess you can still fill it, like fill it with like jelly beans or stuff, you know, like a little... Put your little goodies in like a little cellophane bag and stick it in there. I love the lattice work on top of these. And look, there's even gingerbread uh, work up here in the peaks of the, the little roofs. This here will come in handy with a lot of projects. I really like that. 
Oh, you're going to help? Okay, you do that. So, stop. No. <laughs> she's being rotten. See, I just got home. So, she's going to be bad. <laughs> so, there's that. The other item in the bundle was the beautiful birdcage die set. Now, here, it looks like... So, here they used pattern paper. Here is possibly a vellum, and then they put some, like, glitter on it. So you can kind of see they've got a light in there. And then this one, they didn't put a liner on it. But what I would do with this one is I would put line it with acetate so that everybody could see the goodies inside. And it's even got the little bird cage, the actual bird cage door opens. <laughs> she wants to play. Y'all know how she is. The, oh, I'm sorry. With her here, I have to keep pulling it back. 23 dies. The largest die is 6.3, ouch, by 3 inches. So it should, I think, stop. If it's this, I don't think it's going to fit because the standard machines, I think, are like 2 and a quarter. I mean, 6.3. Six point or six and a quarter inches or six point two or what? Uh, yeah, six point two inches. Uh, it comes with one tag that says for you, but of course, you don't have to use that. You can use any of the other millions of tags that come in all of the other tonic sets or any other die sets you might have. I love this, it looks like they sprayed it with like glimmer mist. Um, because it's got, it's supposed to have like that, uh, like a bronze bird cage that's like got the green patina on it. <laughs> yeah, she wants to play. I got home late. I had to take the car to get the oil changed and all that fun stuff. So that is all that came in that bundle. Now that bundle, um, with my 10% discount was $75.45. So it is... I, I think I've noticed that their prices are going up. Um, not very excited about that. Uh, but I guess that's the way things are. We were at two something a gallon just a few weeks ago. And we're at 367 now a gallon. So not very happy with the supply chain issue. That's all I'm going to say about that. Then the last bundle that I picked up was the watercolor bundle. So this was probably, this was either a Wednesday dye bundle or this was a weekender bundle. And I can't remember what. But this bundle with my discount was $19.69. And it came with, this eight and a half by 11, uh, 15 sheets of 300 GSM cold press watercolor. And what I like about this is if you want, you can cut it down and use it for card fronts or you can use the whole thing and water. I always cut them down for card fronts. That's just how I do it. Um, but anytime I get a good deal on their watercolor, I do snag it up for just, you know, playing around. Um, for when I'm trying to do something serious, I have the arches and I have some Hanna Mule and I have some Fabriano or Fabriano, however you want to say it. Um, those are my higher end watercolor papers. So I save those um, and usually play with these when I'm playing around. So that was in the bundle. Remember this bundle was 1969. Then it came with an A6, which is a four and a half by six and a quarter, which is base is the same thing. It's a 300 GSM cold press. If you're not familiar with watercolor paper, you have, there's a couple types. You've got cold press, hot press. Then there's, um, I think they call it rough press, um, which is a coarser, I don't have one at my desk. I'll open this little one. I'm not going to open the big one.
Come on. See, now I feel, I can't, I'm so like limited now that I, my nails are knocked off. No, I don't want you getting hurt. Urgh. Yes, I'm taking a little bit, sorry. Okay, so with a cold press, um, it has a rougher side, and this is technically the side you should watercolor on. There, now you can see it's got a rough side. And then with this, the back side's a little smoother, but it still has a texture to it. A hot press is going to be like smooth, really, really smooth. And then a rough press is going to be <laughs> coarser than this. It's, it's going to have what I call a bite, more of a bite. It's going to grab the breasts, um, breasts, the bristles of the brush more, um, so, but anyway, uh, so it came with this eight and a half by 11, this A6 size. This has 15 sheets as well. Then, it came with four, uh, four of the color collections in their Aqua Flow um, pens. And I have... Well, I take that back. It comes with three, and then it comes with um, some Aquaflow water brushes, and it comes with a fine and a medium. I will go ahead and open this for you so you can see the difference. Oops, sorry, baby. So here's your fine point, and they, they come stiff. Um, I always just knock it off, run it in a little bit of water, and then um, brush it off on... Uh, my, I, I like to, I like to use a, um, microfiber towel when I am cleaning my brushes off. And then there is your medium point. There we go. Oh, and I gotta be careful because it said one says fine and <laughs> one says medium. So it came with a set of those, and then it came with the Autumn Woodland, the Woodland Walk, and the Blue Blossom. All of these colors have been around for a little bit, uh, but it is, this is actually a good collection to get to start off with. Um, you know, with spring, you're like, but look, it's just all these dark colors. Well, yeah, if you're doing trees, um, you've got one two basically three shades of brown you've got two shades of green you have a um, like a yellow orange and I'll, I'll actually read you the colors in a second and then you have this blue and these two like mauve colors so you know you can do tons of flowers like that and of course they're aqua flow so they're going to work like watercolor so this collection has pink lemonade cameo pink and blue velvet then we have spiced ginger rustic oak and evergreen fern and then the last one is sliced kiwi yellow ochre some people are you know like yeah but yes you pronounce that as ochre and then we have caramel pecan or care um car um was it caramel and ca um caramel well then you have pecan or pecan, depending on where you live. <laughs> of course, you're going to get into stuff, baby girl. Um, car oh, caramel and caramel. I say both. I say pecan and pecan. Um, I was raised with both. So, so that's it. That is what is in this order. Um, as I've mentioned to y'all, I have really... I have cut way back on ordering supplies. Um, I do know that on, I believe it's the 28th, Tonic is going to release the the next die set that I'm dying to get. It, I believe it's the... Bye, baby girl. Mustache is coming in, so she wants to dive bomber. 
If you don't know, Mustache is my son's cat. <laughs> She's a hateful thing. But I'm her furry grandmother. Or her gra her, I don't know. I'm not furry, but she's furry. So these, she's my fur grandchild. My car karma's my fur baby. Um, anywho, that's all that's going on. Um, like I said, we got a lot going on the end of this month going into next month. So I'm going to be, I'm going to try and post. I'm going to let you guys know over the next couple of weeks, possibly I'd say the next two months, I'm probably going to be about a once a week video. Um, I haven't forgotten. I have promised you guys um, a share video on some cards that I've done recently. Also, the uh, what I will do is my niece's wedding is coming up. And so the card that I'm making her, I will set that video to release. Basically, we're on the road coming back. That way, she's already gotten it. And, um, yeah. And then I can share it with you guys. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Also, somebody had asked me um, for the name of this die from MFT. I have lost the comment. I'm going to have to go dig into the history. And it's not on... I was not able to find it on their website anymore, but it is called Message in a Bottle, and that is the code um, MFT1698, and again, I will try to find the comment and post this there. I haven't forgotten. I have just been really busy. Um, we've been deep cleaning the house. Like I said, Go. I went through all the kitchen drawers, well, almost all of them. We have a big kitchen. And then, oh, if you stick around, it's nothing but chit chat from here. Okay. <laughs> um, then I did deep cleaning of the bathrooms. Again, that involved going through the drawers, excuse me, um, you know, pulling everything off, you know, pulling things off the counters, wiping everything down, you know, that fun stuff. Uh, that our washer broke down last Wednesday. That was, that's never fun in my house. Um, however, I've noticed with my son gone, I don't do as much laundry. He had a really dirty job. Uh, anywho, um, that got fixed on Friday. So laundry, the yard is absolutely gorgeous. It got its first official mow this past weekend. The hubby and I had a date night on, or date day on Saturday. We haven't done that in a while. We went and saw, I was, you know, I was so excited. The North Man came out on Friday. And I have been so excited to see this movie ever since I saw, like, I even saw the previews for it before my husband. And uh, we both love history. He is, my husband's really big into Norse history. Um, and, you know, this had Nicole Kidman in it. I will say... That it had a plot twist that I never saw coming. And I'm usually really good at saying, oh, you know, this, I, I can see this. Never saw this coming. And I could care, I was not a fan of the ending, though it kind of followed the theme of the movie. But it, it was, it was good. Normally, I will say, great, fantastic, you know, I gotta, you know, if I love a movie, I, you know, as soon as it's available for release, I go get it. <laughs> I haven't decided. This is not a gotta have movie for me, <laughs> which breaks my heart because I really wanted it to be. Um, there's a lot of fighting. There's gore, so don't watch it. We're talking Vikings here. So, I mean, hello. They're all about Valhalla. It's some gross stuff. Um, there is some adult nudity, but it's not. I wouldn't take your kids and I wouldn't take your tweens. And honestly, I wouldn't go with my older teenage kids. But my kids are, we all know, are grown adults. So 
Anywho, um, yeah, it's, it is, um, pagan. You know, this is before Christianity, you know, kind of made it out that way. So, I mean, if that's something, you know, that is important to you, uh, this is not the movie for you to go see. Just saying. Um, I am, I love, like I said, I love history. I love So I, I graduated from a Catholic, I, I'm not Catholic, but I went to a Catholic university. And so going to the Catholic university, I was, I, it was mandatory. I didn't have a choice. Um, I knew I was gonna have to take religion, but Catholicism, Catholic, I need water. Catholicism is mandatory. And so I learned a lot. Um, I enjoyed uh, the religious, the religion classes that I had to take. Um, and you learned a lot about Christianity coming into, um, you know, say like Ireland, um, Scotland, the Norse countries, um, where it, it, they were pagan, you know, uh, the, the pagan rituals were and how the two combined. And it's just, it's a really neat thing to, re, you know, to learn if that's, you know, your cup of tea. I, I actually... I am, I am Baptist, but I love to read all religions, um, just to learn. Um, I think it's important for everybody to learn. Um, you know, uh, that's, that's all I'm going to go there because <laughs> that can be a hot topic. Um, but being, and I was not happy about having to take the Catholicism class, but I'm glad that I did. Um, for me, I think what made it hard for me is the, the professor I had was actually, um, a Catholic priest, not a problem. Um, but he was very forceful. Um, and it had to be his way or no way, which made, that's what made the the class hard for me. <laughs> um, but I, in the end, um, I ended up taking it a second time because the first one he was, th there was, there was no, it was his way or the highway. And I, I, I refused to bend. Um, but I loved the class the second time around. <laughs> Um, I also had to subscribe to the Vatican. Um, we got daily um, emails from the Vatican. And, you know, we had... Um, gosh, it's been years. So old. Uh, we had, you know, daily discussions on the topics of the emails we got from the Vatican. You know, all, all that fun stuff. But um, it's just... I, I don't... I, some people will not... I guess from voice, some people you know have a problem with Thor and Odin and all that stuff. I don't, um, because Christianity was not across the world all the time. Um, every every culture had a belief system before they found the religion that they are following today. And that's what I enjoyed. The history and how things happened. Because um, to me, religion is history. Anyway. Um, I guess I'll put a warning, a disclosure in my, de you know, in my description. Um, because I know religion can be a hot topic. And that's not what I want it to be. Like I said, I was talking about a movie. Um, and it and the movie played heavily. And that's why I guess why I went down this road. The movie played heavily, heavily, heavily on Norse um, paganistic um, religion beliefs at that time. So that's where we are. That's, that's how I sidetracked down... <laughs> <laughs> this rabbit hole. Um, so I hope I didn't offend anybody. I don't think I was offensive, but, um, you know, we never know what we find on this channel. 
I hope everybody is doing well. Um, physically, I am doing okay. Um, uh, I have some family that, you know, they could use a little uh, prayer to. Um, they're not healing well. Um, I have some friends that they could use a little extra um, help in the prayer department as well. Um, because they're not doing well either. And, um... Look at that. Karma hair. Um, with that, I'm going to let y'all go because I've just been running my mouth. Almost, what's that, eight minutes? <laughs> eight minutes of running my mouth. So I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have a good night. I love you guys to pieces. I am planning to post again this coming weekend. I know for a fact that one, um, if I don't do it before then, there will be another video this week that I'm going to do some card shares and actually show you some stuff that I've made. I know, shocker, rarity on this channel, um, but I have been in the process of um, being crafty. I know, shocker to some of you guys, um, but yes, I do use the stuff I share on here. I'm just not good at sharing it with y'all. With that, y'all have a great night. I love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.